And our big story of the evening is bluegrass and blackstock. As you know, the blackstock community has been having bluegrass every Friday night for the last 11 years since 1998. Huge deal. Now, this is a story that has to do with every community in the True Vista viewing area. Fairfield, Chester, and Kershaw all have ties to Blackstock. Blackstock, as you know, is right on the Chester-Fairfield County line. It's actually in Chester County. Uh, and it also has a lot of musicians from it from all three counties. In fact, we'll hear from the Maxi Branch Boys of Kershaw County later on in the broadcast. Now, to get to Blackstock, you can travel down either 97 or 321. It's in between those two highways, so again, travel down either Highway 97 or 321 in Chester, near the Chester-Fairfield border, and just follow the signs to Blackstock, and it takes place at the old Blackstock School Gymnasium. Uh, it's a beautiful building. They've done a wonderful job renovating it. For more on the history of the Blackstock School or Gymnasium, we go now to the story. It uh, was built in 1928. It was an old gym of the Blackstock School, Margaret knows. But anyway, the school has been torn down, but they preserved the gym. And uh, Mac Trailer, a long resident from Blackstock, uh, saw fit that we want to have a place to play, pick and play. So we started off with about 12 people in the back room and uh, people heard about it and they kept on coming, they kept on coming. Then it was put into paper and Lord they came in like it was cattle coming in the stalls, it's coming in. We had to move out here and make this accessible. Right. But we use the back room first. See, a lot of these people went to school here. There, there's, there's our That's dancers right, right there. She can't talk, but she went to school here. Her sister, Grace, went to school here. Who went to school at Blackstock? Is there someone else? Anybody else went to school here? I don't believe I did. <laughs> you, uh, Glenn, you didn't. I don't think so. I don't believe you did either. <laughs> We got handicapped baskets. We got everything that's accessible. We got the handicap. You come in the back door, yeah. wheel it right in. Okay. Okay. These are some of the nicest individuals you will meet. You feel so welcome there. Uh, now, I want to emphasize this is absolutely free to go to every Friday night. So it's a free event. Well, I get here about 4.30 in the afternoon every Friday. We get the coffee going, two or three pots of coffee going. Cut on the heat if we need it. Have everything ready so when people start coming in, they know they're welcome. All right, and then an amazing thing is, not only is it free to get in, but they also have free food there. Uh, desserts, cover dish, supper, and coffee. So, it's an amazing thing. Now, being cover dish, it'd be nice if you're gonna take the food, you could bring something as well if you're gonna go there regularly and eat the free food they're providing. Or if you're gonna get coffee, it could be so nice to make a donation uh, to help them pay for heating and upkeep of the building, that kind of stuff. But it is free. I mean, what a cheap way to get a food and have a wonderful entertainment, and it's every Friday night. But more about that food. Well, it's all volunteer. We furnish all the paper goods, plates, cups, napkins, paper towels, everything that we need with, it, with the donation boxes. But the food is uh, volunteer. Anybody that wants to bring something and they do well, they've done well tonight. Well, I'm a, a MC. I tell them when to get on, when to get off the stage, you know, and, uh, sometimes. And I sing. I miss your pictures on the wall and your footsteps in the hall. cut up <laughs> and uh, this old gal here got me in trouble she first time I came down here she uh, introduced me to my wife we've been he married six years now but, but uh, anyway we, we get along good 
As we mentioned earlier, the Maxi Branch boys come from Kershaw County to play there on a regular basis. People come from all over the region, in fact, and volunteer their talent to provide entertainment. They just show up. They want to play. We, we never know who's going to be never here. know who's Never. Gonna... Now, some of them come from far away. Some of them come from, uh, like, uh, Hickory, Camden. Hickory Grove, Hickory Camden. Grove. <laughs> yeah. Lancaster, Monroe. We talked about the Blackstock building being renovated, but uh, the decorations on the inside, the cedar post stage, the records on the wall, has amazing decorations on the inside. Our president, Barry Murray, and all the decorations just about belong to him. Okay. The pictures on the wall and the album, they're mine. I made most of those. And every season, which is coming up now, that tree is decorated. It will be St. Patrick's oh, so some next week. Okay. It's Valentine now. So it's a year-round tree. It's a year-round year -round The lights yeah. stay on, but someone decorates it. Well, Hazel great. usually decorates it. And again, some of the friendliest people you can meet is such a welcoming atmosphere. It's just the atmosphere here is just a family-oriented. It's old people like me. <laughs> Children, people in wheelchairs, just walking like sticks, walking canes. <laughs> the atmosphere, there's no drinking and there's no smoking. Smoke outside. They might not have smoking and drinking, but they have plenty and loads of dancing. Yeah. Oh, Chief Blue over there, he can put the music on. He's in the back right now. Okay. From the Indian, from the reservation. He can play some good music. That's good. We dance, clog, two step, square dance. <laughs> we got bluegrass, bluegrass, country, gospel, and whatever people want to sing. That's right. Okay. It's not restricted to bluegrass. It just makes people happy. They've got somewhere to go. They know it's clean and it's. It's just a lot of fun, isn't it? And they know we're going to be here. And they know we're going to be here every yeah. Friday night. Every Friday night. Except, just, except when Christmas, Christmas falls on, on, Friday. on Friday. Okay, we're going to put on a show for you. Next up from Blackstock, we're going to hear from Chief Blue, the retired Catawba Indian Chief, who performs there now on a regular basis, getting the crowd rocking. We go now to Chief Blue. Okay, real briefly, my name is Gilbert Billy Blue. I served as Chief of the Catawba Nation for 34 years. I retired about a year and a half ago. I've been playing music since 
about 1952, I guess. Had a band for 20 years that we played locally. And uh, we just had a lot of fun doing that. And the nation right now is growing. We have a good education program. We have uh, a health care center on the reservation now because of things that we put into place. So the, the nation is growing real good and it's a real important part and integral part of the community. So it's just a pleasure to represent those people. And I've been coming down here since earlier this year. Uh, at first they didn't learn anything but acoustical instruments and they kept asking me and finally they said, bring your electric guitar and come on down, we don't worry about it. So I've been coming ever since on every Friday night. Okay. I like it all. I enjoy bluegrass music, but I grew up on country and uh, I was in the Navy from 1951 to 1960, so I grew up in the 50s with all with, um, you know, Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis, and of course they Elvis and all those people. So I know all their songs, and when we play for dances, that's the difference from just playing like here. When you play for a dance and people pay to get in, they want to dance. So a lot of songs I would like to sing, I can't because you can't dance to them. So I'm just used to used to. Uh, playing dance music mostly. Okay. I think what I enjoy most about playing is just watching the people enjoy themselves. If they like to get up and dance and, and feel the rhythm of the music that we're doing, well that's that's good enough for me. Well there's two things that I enjoy about coming to Blackstock. Natural the thing is the music, but it's a, it's a family atmosphere. You know, there's no drinking, there's no smoking. I'm sure people go outside to smoke, but there's no drinking that I know of. I've never seen anyone. And it's just a nice wholesome atmosphere for you to bring your family and just sit and enjoy yourself. And if you want to dance, fine. If you don't, just sit back and, and watch the others do their thing. So those are the two things I mostly enjoy about it. Most of, I appreciate the channels like you guys do for local stuff because I know we get all the, the national and the world news that we want from the larger stations. But I think it's good that we have people like you folks that go around to the grassroots, if you will, the people that do things in the community, that we're such a part of the community, and that's what makes it so interesting. But appreciate you coming down here tonight, too. Well, I hate to be repetitious tonight, but we have a request for one that we do about every week. Well, I guess I'm going to have to say it Go to the interview with the Maxi Branch boys of Kershaw County. 
<laughs> all right, uh, tell us who y'all are and uh, introduce y'all sales if you would, please. We're the Maxi Branch boys from the Midlands of South Carolina. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Tom. How are you? We're not a bit Mike. I'm Mike. I'm Mike. 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 I'm there. That's Paul. Paul Eagle. How you Paul doing? Eagle. Hi, Paul. How you doing? Good to Tom, how you doing? Good job. Now we've been introduced. We've been introduced. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Paul down there is the guitar player. He's been with us for about a year. Yeah. Been a year? Close. Mike's, Mike's the fiddler. He's from, uh, by the way, Paul's from Michigan. Mike is the fiddler from Mississippi. This is Tom, the bass player, and I'm John, the banjo player. And Tom and I started the band about 20 years ago. And we've had a bunch of people, it started out as a jam session. We never really started to be a band, but it started out as a jam session and a, a few core people came through uh, and stayed. And that's how we got to be a band. And we started performing locally and now we're all the way up here in Chester. He lives at Lake Warrior. I live in Elgin. I live in Elgin. <laughs> and I live in Dalzell, which is in Sumker County. We play what we like to play, and it just happens to be mostly bluegrass. But we put in some, some country songs, and uh, some original stuff, and some things that we've uh, kind of made bluegrass. And we like to have fun with it. And that's it. That's yeah. what it's all about. It's so always said we just a bunch time. of old guys having a good time, you know? We have a good time playing the music, and uh, we hope the crowd has the same good time seeing us play the music. Well, we play quite a bit in the Boykin Grill. Uh, we've been members of the in the Boykin Grill for about the last eight years, playing about twice a month. We also are uh, every year in Miss Alice Boykin's float in the parade, the, the Boykin Mill Parade. If you haven't been to that, it's the uh, uh, Sunday before Christmas, usually about two o'clock in the afternoon. South Carolina's third largest parade. And Don't over live in Salas here, you say third. Well, that's what it <laughs> turned out to be. <laughs> they had 10 to 12,000 people there this time, lined up along the road about a one mile, maybe a mile and a quarter parade route. Uh, where else we play? Hay bales, and where else we play? Old folks homes. We play uh, nursing churches. homes, uh, churches, assisted living homes. Uh, right now we've got to get going in the smoking and grilling and uh, Dusty Bend. Uh, every Thursday, well not every Thursday, about every second Thursday night. We'll be there in, uh, on the 5th of uh, March and be in the Barking Grill on the 6th of March. Mike and Paul, would you let us get a word in edgewise, please? Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> me and Mike just like to sit back and watch these guys yak. That's the whole thing. All the talking. My favorite song would probably be uh, i probably got a few favorites, Orange Blossom Special, Angelina Baker, a lot of the, lot of the old, old timey music I like to play. I don't really play any, any of the new bluegrass, like the old, time, old timey songs. I used to play a guitar and, and mandolin, and I swapped over to fiddle, so I'm still learning, got a long ways to go. He keep, he's got three fiddles, he keeps buying them, he's hoping he'll buy a smart one. Here in Blackstock, the people mostly would come, see Odell and Hazel, and they run the place over here, and uh, the people are just good here. <coughs> it's a, it's great. a great senior citizen outlet. The atmosphere's good. Yeah. yeah. Food's good. You can't beat free food. Yeah, That's right. Food. That's right. Well, anything y'all want to add? Catch us on our website. If you Google us up and ask for the Maxi Branch Boys on Google, it'll take you to our website on MySpace. It'll tell you where we're playing and uh, even let you preview some of our songs that we have loaded on there. And Paul's the webmaster. We have to get a MySpace account tomorrow and be our friend. Okay. Well, we all have, all friends we get right. <laughs> we all have a different job. Paul, he's the electronics sound man and the webmaster. Mike, he's wardrobe. Uh, I, do, nice, don't we? I do the arrange, some of the arranging of the songs that we got and uh, try to keep everybody and the treasury, uh, legal in the treasury. John, he does That's the booking. Job, the treasury. John does the booking for us. So if you want to do some booking of the Maxi Branch boys, call me 803 499 2003. If you see us playing, bring the instrument, join in. Yeah, always welcome to join in. That's right. It's all about having fun. Listen, spoons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like spoon players. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some glad morning when this life is over.